NFL action on this Monday morning. The Jets were in Nashville yesterday taking on the Tennessee Titans. It was a solid day for Braylon Allen, which, by the way, he is the NFL's youngest player. He's just 20 years old. Scored a couple of touchdowns for Gang Green. Meanwhile, the league's oldest player, 40-year-old Aaron Rodgers, had a couple of touchdown passes, and the Jets win this one, 24-17, and it is Rodgers' first win as the team's quarterback. Not of the Giants, and not so good news for the G-men. They were on the road against the Commanders. The Giants lost their kicker, Graham Gano, to a hamstring injury. This happened early in the game. Washington drilled seven field goals, including the game winner as time expired. The Commanders win 21-18, and the Giants now fall to 0-2. It is 6.10 right now. You're never more than seven minutes away from weather and traffic. You're all just Danny Beckstrom with that forecast. Hey, Danny. Good morning, Charlene. Sun rises this morning at 6.38, but we're starting to see the uh, first peaks of sunlight. Beautiful live look outside this morning. 61 in Central Park. That's fairly comfortable, but we're on the chilly side of comfortable in Morristown at 46. 50 in Sussex this morning, 54 uh, for Newburgh. As we move into this afternoon, temperatures land near the seasonal average. That puts us in the mid to upper 70s with sunshine to start and some high clouds streaming in, but the high clouds shouldn't block the sun or like filter it. And what that means is today is dry day number nine and it is fantastic out there. Air quality is good today. Pollen is low to medium, just a beautiful start to the work week and lucky us. It's been a very pleasant stretch of weather that continues today, but you got to take a take advantage and get outside and enjoy it because changes arrive as early as tomorrow. For your Tuesday, more cloud cover, more humidity, but still mainly dry. That changes Wednesday when we get rounds of rain, more humid conditions. We'll stick with the spotty showers through the second half of the week cooler and breezier as well so today the best bet of the week in terms of the weather but i hear the traffic is pretty busy mm -hmm. yeah not so great in the traffic department breaking traffic news cross bronx east right near castle hill avenue we do have a disabled vehicle it is a flatbed tractor trailer sitting right over here so everybody is slowing down as they get around this tractor trailer parsippany 80 eastbound from exit 43 to 45 overturned tractor trailer it involves a downed tree the tractor trailer was apparently carrying eggs only the right lane is getting by. On the FDR Drive North near Houston Street, we do have relief here. Earlier accident cleared. Alternate side of the street parking rules are in effect. Shirley and Mike, back to you. Thank you both. 612 still ahead. A preview of a high stakes hearing planned for today on the future of TikTok. Also ahead, highlights from the 76th Annual Emmy Awards, which aired right here on Channel 7. See which shows won big. But first, Nina Pineda joins us with 7 on your side. Nina? Hey, good morning. Ask yourself if you could go to work for four months with no pay. That is what happened to these staffers at a Queen's daycare, which provides free pre-K to hundreds of kids in the city. They're supposed to get reimbursed by the city. When that didn't happen, they rang the bell for 7 on your side. This Eyewitness News AccuWeather forecast and traffic report is sponsored by your local Tri-State Area Audi dealers. Visit your Tri-State Area Audi dealer to get behind the wheel of yours today.